good morning everyone so this is a tad bit about me if you guys want to read it i'll just keep it on for a couple of seconds and i already said my thanks to the tedx program so empowering youth exploring ways to empower young people to become leaders see i'm going to start off with my journey of leadership so once uh, this is way back when uttarakhand funds flood started and i was sitting home i have been associated uh, because of my lineage to a lot of ngos a lot of institutes which kind of create platforms to help societies and i always saw that we as a family were invited to be the face of the program but actually the hard real work was done by the organization so i took it upon myself that i have to see whether i can raise that kind of amount that kind of help that is required in the flood so i started this journey for 2 weeks and successfully was able to donate around 4 crore rupees in the flood and uh, somewhere around to the tune of 5 tons of ration and around 17 trucks were sent and that was all done through college students and neighboring societies so i didn't know the mechanism what should i do i spoke to the district magistrate in chamoli i spoke to the army people over there lieutenant colonel and the commandant in raiwala that time so first of all the first step was the thought itself you know as leader we all of us see problems we we need to start discussing it we need to start raising our voice social media is there and we have to start advocating what we believe in so that is the first step which i guess all of you should start learning and do so embarking on a journey to discover effective methods of empowering and nurturing leadership qualities of young individual see there are multiple methods now when you talk about leadership qualities how to nurture them there at one point of time uh, i was in third grade and we had a debate competition in st columbus i was in st columbus and i was so hesitant the topic was i remember spare the rod and spoil the child and i was supposed to talk uh, about not hitting the children and i was very very nervous and one golden mantra which my dadi said first of all hold something in your hand so that you don't get the stage fright and second she said you need to believe in it what you are going to say there's a very small example i am sure most of you must have heard that shastri ji had kept monday fast because there was a shortage of wheat i don't know whether you guys know it or not this generation so the country started fasting but ba- the back story behind it is that he made sure that all the children in the house for two weeks were fasting for complete two weeks for one meal so you need to believe in your thought before you advocate it all of us tend to get influence i'm sure if you look at our screen times on our mobile phones which is there as a parameter is above 3 hours most of us spending a lot of time on social media reels but we actually utilizing i'm not stopping you guys to watch social media or reels but are we getting something out of it are we going to get motivated out of it is the question so when we are spending that time you just have 24 hours you need to have time management and that's a very very important part of empowering yourself see you want to do something you do it according to the time if you want to become an influencer that also has a lot of hard work most of us i think uh, in this generation have started believing in inter- entrepreneurship you have the energy you have the resilience you have everything in today if you talk about your generation our generation we are the generation which is the privileged one if you go back three generations probably your grandfather or your grandmother was uh, struggling to get food in the house then your father and your mother were the people who provided shelter and have bought the house so you are the risk taker so please take that risk the government have made made policies like national youth policy skill india digital india 
we all talk about it we all read about it but have we used that benefit there are so many loans given unsecured for your idea but why are we not going see we have moved from 10th to 5th position in the economy and that is mainly because of unicorn startup and all these policies and it is your time we talk about our, our honorable prime minister he keeps on saying 65% of the youth but what is the youth really thinking it is time that people keep saying that leaders are for tomorrow it is your time youth is the leader and you have to there's no question it is the place people used to back two decades back we used to say that you know america is the place where you bring, bring your you know build your dream and great dream but today india is the place where your dreams can come true you have seen unicorns coming up in two two years i'm sure you all have studied about them start building on your ideas start believing in them that is what the first and foremost step is embarking towards the journey so like why is it important so we all have been talking about what is the importance and what does it mean see i have a question in for all of you just think about it for a moment we have peer pressure all of us need iphones and samsungs and all the armanis to gucci's to materialistic desires right but what is the way towards it have we ever thought back we have we given a thought how will i how will i achieve it so in the lift right now i met one of your volunteers who was escorting me she had a screen broken right she said my birthday is in next 15 days and i'll be getting it as a gift but the answer what i what i would have expected or what i have wanted rather is that i'll work towards it and get a new phone right when i started talking about youth advocacy empowerment it was not about uh, just giving gyan it was about providing solutions we have in our bricks organization and other places where i have we have mentorship programs which are free of cost where you are approachable and most of the bureaucrats we have a good panel and we have lot of mentorship programs happening there and why are they happening they are happening to make you achieve something achievement see the first time you walked the first time you rode your cycle or the first time you drove or you got into a prestigious institute that is achievement all of you have shown that you have shown that you are empowered then why is the struggle in the later part the struggle is because you are surrendering yourself to the ex materialistic desires which is probably not required even at that moment in your life so there's a small story which again i'll tell which my mother said so i became very successful in my business and i really wanted to buy a fancy car and my mother said what else can you do with that money in a social sense so i kept gave her answers and she was telling her that i could build this i could do that like so for 3 years or 5 years of a depreciating asset and over there you are making a career for 5 years so i adopted 300 children in noida for that cost and i didn't buy the car so that is a, a reasonable thought that i have as not necessarily everyone should have that everyone has their you should have the motivation towards whatever your goals are set this is the right age when you set your goals whether it's social entrepreneurship whether you want to be a billionaire whether you want to help and i also see that you know the youth is very hesitant about politics everybody is ready to talk about it but nobody wants to become an mp mla or a corporator and i don't understand why why can't this country have educated people like you all sitting at the right places to make policies and make decisions and then we complain ki criminal minister ban gaya that is completely our fault because we are not willing to so we have to understand that all the industries play an important role whether you are engineers whether you are doctors whether you are politicians and the key to that the key to that starts with education and you all are privileged to be in an institute which has air conditioning it has an auditorium the best of the best mentors and gurus you have to now sit back and think how well you can utilize it if you talk about major part of india sir infrastructure is developing you don't have that kind of education system 
but you do have leaders who have come from a chaiwal and become a prime minister so the opportunity is there and there is a will and that will has to be found inside yourself on that note i want to talk not just education it is your overall well being what happens is uh, like i was talking earlier about materialistic it's your peer pressure as well so when you stand with somebody who is next to you reflects who you are as a team so try to find that kind of company which have the same ideology so that it helps your growth we talk about kalam ji when he says that you dream and that's when you start dreaming that's when your dreams come true or you talk about mahatma gandhi that you know you start working towards it but you get together and then only so that's what the basic thought is all of us are aware of the basics right when we make a movie plan five people immediately say yes but when we th- if i ask you guys ki let's just go and help the society for a blood donation camp or swachhta camp or anything not even five friends would accompany so you need to understand what your priorities are for the future for your future and for the betterment covid has been the biggest example for all of us no boundaries nothing was discussed not even media was discussing it everybody was just worried about one aspect how will we get cured how will the vaccine come so for one cause if the entire world can get together and create a vaccine and india being very successful in doing it like supplementing it to 200 crore people and giving it to nations so this is all the power together that you can do with one single thought so just try to find the right thought right education for you guys the future is getting more difficult it is for us it was very easy brother did mba we did mba now it's about specializations ai ai will be taking jobs they have already started taking jobs so you have to really work very very hard to realize what your usp is and you have to work towards it yeah so coming to the conclusion you guys can read to read that but how i would like to conclude is with one single promise from you all that please dream big make sure you work towards it your parents have given you the freedom of risk please take that risk don't try to secure your environment and please try to give back at least 10% to the society because india really needs it and think about a sustainable development economical and sustainable develop future for everybody because the kind of pollution that is there in delhi the minute i had my child that was my first thought you know four years back where i was blessed with a boy and that was my thought what world i've got my son into so with the kind of pollution with the kind of industry set up so the growth is good but we have to parallelly balance it so please give that a try thank you so much once again it was a pleasure coming here